Earlier, I got a call from a guy selling a classic Mustang. So Corey and I are on our way to go check it out. So this is it, huh? This is it. The 68 Mustang Fastback GT. Is this is what we're here for? Uh, yes, we're definitely here for this. This is the coolest car ever made, possibly. This is a car that Steve McQueen used to drive. I called the guys down from the pawn shop today to check out my 1968 Mustang GT. I can't afford to restore the car, so I need to sell it. I would like to have 20,000. I might have to come down even as much as 12,000. It's not the actual car Steve McQueen drove. One exactly identical to what he had. In Bullet, he had a 68 Mustang GT Fastback. Right. This is the quintessential muscle car. It's 1968, the movie Bullet comes out. It was the greatest car chase scene in the history of all movies, and they have no special effects or anything like that. This is it. Steve McQueen was one of the biggest movie stars of the 60s and the 70s. I'm a huge fan, and it's not just me. There's a ton of diehard McQueen fans out there that I could sell this to. I want it. So what's the difference between this and a regular one? It's a big difference. A regular one wasn't really cool. This has got a 351 four bolt main, right? Right. You don't even know what we're talking about, do you? I'm just telling you, these are hard to come by. Of all the muscle cars ever made, this has to be the prettiest. It's hard to tell with all the rust. Yeah, but the body is good and solid. Most of it is all surface rust. It's a good, solid metal. Is that velvet on the inside? Obviously, it needs a little interior work. I'm trying real hard to find something I like about the car, Dad. Does it even run? Absolutely not. When it comes to buying Steve McQueen stuff, my dad just doesn't have a very good track record. Steve McQueen's signature, it's not good. Way too many hairs for it to be authentic. And this one doesn't look promising either. But Steve McQueen is his idol, so this one's all him. You want to sell this, right? I want to sell it. How much do you want for it? I got to get 20 grand out of it. When this car is, like, new again, it will be worth around $100,000. Let me have a friend come down and take a look. Sure. I just have to make sure this is a GT, because if I get this thing restored, it's worth twice as much money if it's an original GT. Right. I'm going to go call Danny. Maybe he can talk some sense into you. All right, he'll be here in a little bit, man. The younger generation, they don't appreciate the old cars. I think the expert will be on my side as far as the price of it for what I need to get out of it. Gentlemen, goodness gracious, a Steve McQueen machine. I own Counts Customs right here in Las Vegas. We specialize in building anything cool with an engine. Let me ask you, how long have you had it? For about three years. Nice. What I love about it is the late 60s Mustangs were the cars that other cars were trying to be like. This one being a 68, it came across as like a gentleman's muscle car. OK. It was so conservative, yet it was so bad all at the same time. They had uh, three different versions in 1968. There was uh, the coupe. There was, of course, the convertible version. And then there's my personal favorite, which is the fastback, where the whole roof line just sloped all the way back down to the end of the truck. I mean, I just love this car. I mean, this is the quintessential muscle car. Please talk him out of buying it. Rick, besides Corey, what are your concerns? <laughs> I just want to make sure it's a GT. And I need to know if I can get it back to beautiful condition without putting me in bankruptcy court. OK. Take a peek, man. There's no rust rot in it. It's just surface rust. This ain't rust. It looked like somebody used some sort of a chemical stripping agent on it. It makes it look like that. Sexy. The way all the door gaps line up, the way the doors open and close, I mean, it's solid. Now, let's take a look at the, uh, the soul of this beautiful baby right here. Ah. It is the factory engine, five liter, 302 engine. That's correct. That's exactly what's supposed to be in here. So is it a GT? Looks like a GT to me, brother, and it looks like a nice one, believe it or not. It's this grill with the fog lights built into the grill. Things like the gas cap, that's all factory GT items. So what do you think it's worth? I would comfortably put this car anywhere between twelve dollars and $15,000 as it sits right now. OK. All right, man, if I buy it, I'll give you a call. I'll be waiting for that call. <laughs> Corey? Most people would look at this and think it's a pile of garbage. It'll be a bit of a challenge to make it perfect, but it's a gem. I'll give you 10 grand for it. Oh, I, I got to have more than that. I'll come down a little bit, but I can't come down that much. That's half of what I was asking. My guy just said it was worth 12, dude. 
No, I need to get 15. I'll go 11. I mean, basically, it's just going to sit around here and rot. It can't get worse here. I'll keep it inside, out of the weather. Can you come up any? How about 12? How about 12.5? That's the least I can take, 12.5. All right, it's a deal. OK. I hope that they'll be able to take it and do the work to it that I haven't been able to do to it, because the car well deserves it.